a grizzly video has come out showing a bear versus monkey bicycle race that was run at the Shanghai Wild Animal Park in China. It had a horrible end. Uh, let's take a look. Yeah, so it might be a little bit hard to tell because the video is relatively small, mm -hmm. but they had a bear and two monkeys on bicycles. They went around once or twice, and unfortunately, something caused the bear to, to, to fall over, and it went berserk, basically. It attacked one of the monkeys, and even once they were finally able to get the bear off of the monkey, the monkey remained not moving. We don't know that it died, but it seems likely that right. it did. What do you think? Well, I so we have a statement from PETA here, and I have to say I don't usually agree with a lot of the things that PETA says and does, I think, as we all know PETA can be a little over the top, but I do agree with this. And they say time and time again, we've seen that holding wild animals captive and forcing them to perform silly tricks can lead to neurotic behavior and depression. And I think that's absolutely true. What did they expect was going to happen? Mm -hmm. Wild animals, especially, you know, aggressive wild animals like bears, tigers, whatever it may be, yeah. they're just not designed for captivity. And especially the sort of captivity captivity where you're forcing them to do tricks and perform in front of an audience. You mm -hmm. have the, the yelling and the screaming from the crowd plus the pressure to the, the, the people, the, the circus members, forcing the animals into this trick. Yeah. So, of course, it's going to upset a wild animal. I don't know why they thought they were going to get a good outcome from this. Yeah, I, I think it's funny whenever an animal goes sort of crazy, people are like, oh, my God, what happened? Why mm -hmm. did the animal start acting that way? Um, while I um, think there was a philosophy. Yeah, there was a philosopher actually who uh, about a decade ago said it best. Uh, that tiger didn't go crazy. That tiger went tiger. <laughs> like that's its nature coming out. It didn't lose control. I guess being docile and in con in control in a tiny little cell that's like losing control of its inner nature. It finally reasserted itself. And really the only surprise to me is that while it's mauling that monkey and eventually gets taken off the monkey, that it didn't attack a human too. Yeah. And they do sometimes, by the way. Bears who they say naturally have um, they will roam over multiple miles of wilderness, confined in small areas, will attack other captive animals, not just bears, but others too, and sometimes they're human trainers as well. Mm -hmm. um, we've seen people try to have uh, tigers and monkeys, by the way, as domesticated uh, pets. Sometimes it'll last for years, even decades, that they can have these animals, but someday something triggers and they get attacked. Mm -hmm. uh, this is just another case of that, I guess. Yeah, we see this time and time again, and I don't know why people keep expecting different results. It's also mm -hmm. neurotic on the people's part, too, because they're doing this again and again and expecting them to something different to happen, expecting to be able to train the animals. You just can't permanently train wild animals. Yeah. I think it's actually amazing, by the way, that they were able to train a bear to ride a bicycle in the first place. Yeah. I don't know. I didn't think that that was physically possible. I don't yeah, even yeah. ride bikes all that well. But the <laughs> monkey was like, well, I guess if you had a bear chasing you, you'd want to get away. Maybe. Unfortunately, one of them died.